Hi, it's Wizard's Code here. This is an awesome cutscene of a load of cows doing the hacker. Why not? This is using Timeline, it's using Magic of Cloth, Tail Animator, and a bunch of other stuff. Let's take a look. So we're creating a new scene here, and we'll call that scene, I don't know, a New Cow? And once we've got that up and running, we can uh, open that up. Okay, and we're going to unload the original scene. So now we just have a blank scene. First thing we do is change the camera to just have a solid color for black. And now we're going to drag in our cow model. This comes from a wonderful farm animals pack, link in the description. And we're going to position our main camera just in front of it. So position it in the scene, hit Control Shift F when the main camera is selected, and then bring the light round to give us some reasonable lighting. Excellent. Okay, let's select our cow, check there's no animator, good. And we're gonna work with the timeline. Let me just close that so you can see where it comes from. Window, sequencing, timeline. And then I'm just gonna drag it down into the bottom because that's where I like it. And then you can click on this create button and it's going to give you an opportunity to create a save file for your timeline. So I'm gonna put it into my dev folders and we'll call that the new cow timeline. And that is now applied to my animator for that particular cow. So I can start adding animations at this point. So I'm gonna grab the cow idle and drop it into my timeline. And if I play, I'm now playing that animation. Great stuff. So next up, I want to find the hacker dance animation. And this comes from a pack from uh, Kevin Iglesias. And this is a free pack. There is a paid pack with even more dances, but this particular one is free. So go grab it and take a look. And the dance we want is dance 02. And there we go, the hacker. So we can drag that into our timeline, put a little blend in between it and play the blend. Okay, that looks reasonably good for a start here. So next we wanna put success at the end. This comes from the animal pack. So put that in, blend it in. Let's take a look at what that looks like. All right, so that's a good start. Let's have a look at the whole thing now. And uh, so we have the idle blending into the hacker dance and that goes on for a few seconds and then blends into the success. Looking good. Next up, we need some sound. So I've got this sound source of a hacker. So I'm gonna drop that into the timeline and we get a player. So that seems to work okay. Now we have to work to align the animations with what's happening with the sound. So we want him to go into the hacker after the first call, which is somewhere around about here. Yeah, that looks about right. Let's just tweak that and get it right. So if we drag it to the roughly to the beginning, like that, and then change the overlap, let's take a look. That looks pretty good. Now we just need to make sure that the hacker continues throughout the whole audio effect. So let's try that out. Let's move it to the end, have it overlap a bit. Let's try there. That looks good, but the transition is too fast. Let's spread that out a bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now let's take a look at this in the full view and make sure everything is okay. Okay, the start is reasonably good. It's good enough for the video. I would tune this a little bit more. Yeah, timing is pretty good. We could improve a little bit, but for the sake of this video, let's move on. All right, so now we have a very static tail. When we're using an animation from the cow model itself, there is animation on the tail, but when we're doing the dance animation, it's just sticking out straight like this. And so we're gonna use tail animator. So navigate down into the tail and simply add tail animator. Link in the description is for this asset. It's one of a wonderful set of animation assets from this publisher. And what's happened here is it's automatically detected all the bones below the one that we selected, tail one. And you can see that there are a number of bones below here, and it's going to animate each of those procedurally. So we have a little bit of setup to do. Let's go into the tweaks here. And one of the things we want to do is just reduce the uh, smoothness of the tail. Let's make it a little bit stiffer, just a touch. It's, uh, it's a tiny bit makes all the difference. 
Now I've played around this quite a lot and done trial and error, so I know this is a reasonably good setting. What I'm not so familiar with though is this auto waving, so I'm going to reduce the speed. I definitely want the tail waggling around, so I'm going to halve the speed of it. I'm not quite sure what the other settings should be. I'm going to increase the range to have it waggle around a lot. That probably is going to work well. But the best bet here is just to hit play and then change the other settings. But before we do that, let's mute the animations so that we can see exactly what's going on with the tail procedural animation only. So there we go, it's waving around. It's a bit stiff though, so I think I probably want to make that curl a bit. So let's go into the tail animator, go to the tweak settings, and there is this curling option just here. So let's make it a bit, uh, well, very curly. Okay, that's looking better. Yep. That looks okay, so let's go and make it wave more. So let's play around with these settings. And I'm honestly, I don't know what the best setting is here. So I'm literally just playing around with them and see what happens. I'll speed the video up a little bit, but uh, I get something that I'm happy with in a few moments. Okay, so let's pause the video now and re-enable the animations and take a look at what we have. Okay, that's looking pretty good. The tail is waving around nicely. We have some movement, not too much, but we have some movement when the uh, dance animation is happening, which is what we were after. As with the earlier animations, we can tweak this, but in, for the sake of being able to move forward in the video, we'll call that done. Okay, next up is the ears. Like the tail in the dance animation, the ears have not got any movement. So we're gonna use Magicka Cloth. I'm just searching for the Magicka Physics Prefab here. There it is, we're gonna drop it in. Link to this asset in the description, tutorials and so on on the publisher's page. But here we're going to navigate in and find our ears. So they're gonna be on the head somewhere, in the neck, head, and there's our ears. Let's look at the right here, it has two bones in it, excellent. So now we need to add the Magicka Spring Cloth. Uh, sorry, Magicka Bone Cloth. And we're going to drag our two ears in. So we need two in our root list. And drag in our right ear, the root of it, and our left ear. And then we're going to check how our points look. So click Start Point Selection. In this case, it's got it absolutely right. In a more complex environment, you would need to set this up. But the red will not be animated and the green will. So the red will stay stationary and then the green will be animated around it. So that's that piece done. End Point Selection. And now we need to go through and set things up. I'm not going to describe these configurations in detail. You can find the documentation for the asset quite easily, and it's pretty good documentation. And a lot of this, to be honest, is just trial and error. So if you really want to know how I set it up, uh, pause the video at the appropriate points and you'll see it. Otherwise, we'll move on. Now let's get those udders moving. As with everything else, the humanoid animation for the dance is not going to animate the udders because people don't typically have udders. So we're going to use Magicka Cloth again. This time we're going to add a Magicka Bone Spring. We're going to add one item into the root list. The udder has a bone, so we'll drop that in as the root. And again, just play around with the settings here. Um, I've used this a lot. I've got used to how it should be set up. You can pause the video to have a look at how things go. But otherwise, let's just look at the end result. And here we are. So in this piece, this is being animated. But here, we're seeing magic cloth in use, both on the ears and the udders. It's looking pretty good. So next up is the rows of cows. So create a game object. Let's call it a cow row. There we go. And we're going to duplicate the cow that we've got and put the duplicated version into our cow row. And we're going to rename the main cow lead cow. And the cow inside of our row, that can just be called, uh, I don't know, cow, I guess. <laughs> and then we're going to move it behind and slightly to the left. And then we're going to duplicate that one and move it slightly to the other side. And then we're going to duplicate and duplicate and duplicate and basically create a row of cows. So let's speed up because this is easy stuff. 
now whilst it is easy stuff there is one catch that you need to be aware of and took me a while to figure out you do need to ensure that the animation track on each of these cows is set to apply scene offsets and you can just see it there in the inspector now that's what you need to set up for each of the cows once you've done that it'll work perfectly fine as you can see it's very fast but you can see it's working when you have one row you can then duplicate that row multiple times which is what you see me doing here and then when we have that working it's time for the camera now to do the camera we use the timeline again so i'm positioning the camera in roughly the right place here then we add to the timeline an animation track and we create a series of keyframes starting right at the beginning and then we move the playhead to where we want the next keyframe we move the camera around that records the keyframe for us we move the playhead again move the camera around to where we want it and just rinse and repeat until you have a lovely smooth animation of the camera